we have a slightly different panel than, um, can't think of the right word, advertised. Yeah, we have a slightly different panel than, than I had advertised for the last few weeks to a month, but an exciting uh, panel nonetheless. It's probably even better in some ways, just so that people have more time to actually answer. Um, unfortunately, Christopher Aaron and Teresa Jordan, who were featured on the website and spoken about and sent out information on newsletters, they were unable to come up from Southern California at the last minute. So I, I begged, but I didn't have to, apparently. And uh, Bradley Saul said that he would join us tonight. And he is the, the founder and director of Organic Athletes, which we were going to talk about a whole bunch tonight anyways. So very excited to have that happening. So we've got Kevin Park, Bradley Saul, and Zachary Schioli. I bet I could never figure it out in my head. So now that we know their names, we'll just start off by having them tell you a little bit. Um, they'll say their name again. Say your age, what and what your sport is. What your just so people know when we get started. So go ahead. Hi. Uh, my name is Kevin Park. I'm, yeah. My name is Kevin Park. I'm two days away from my 25th birthday, uh, and I'm primarily a cyclist, but I do all sorts of activities to stay in shape: running, weight training, yoga. Um, I'm a certified personal trainer, and yeah, that's that's me. Uh, my name is Bradley Saul. I'm 31 years old. I've been a professional cyclist in the past. I'm now mainly a runner as well as a as well as a cyclist. Um, so I'm Zach. I'm 22. I'm uh, primarily a cyclist as well, um, but I do multi sports swimming and running and done triathlons and um, yeah it's a pleasure to be here well that was fast okay so let's talk a little bit about your personal bio as far as how long have you been doing sports and where along that pathway did you discover raw foods and, and what did that do for you and you can take some time on this one so I grew up playing sports, uh, soccer, baseball, basketball, cross-country running. Uh, I got into mountain biking um, at a young age. I was about 12 years old when I started that. And I raced on a pretty high level as a junior until I was about 15. Uh, eventually, oh, during that time, always struggling from various energy issues, depression, uh, health issues. Uh, which which really did affect my uh, performance both as an athlete and as a functioning human being and as a student. Um, so I kind of gave up my athletic pursuits uh, against my will um, just because I didn't have the energy to, to compete and train anymore. Um, after I graduated high school, uh, I just kind of hit rock bottom health-wise and said I need to do, I need to change. Something has to change. There has to be a better way uh, of living. Why don't I feel good? So I started diving into it and uh, researching health, nutrition, um, and I found that the better I ate, the better my energy levels became. Um, health problems started to kind of dwindle away. Mood completely changed, my outlook on life completely changed, and I was able to exercise again. I had so much energy, I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, so I just started weight training, I started running, um, and I got fit pretty quick. Um, and I attribute that to the diet, definitely, of, of whole foods, and I kind of uh, transitioned to a vegan diet around that time, which was four years ago. Um, and kind of through the discovery of health and nutrition, uh, started to get a better understanding of how important raw foods were in the diet. Uh, so the more I added of raw foods, the better I performed, the better I felt, uh, quicker I recovered, and it kind of just steamrolled from there to a completely raw diet, uh, which I've been doing for about, just over two years now, um, been a raw foodist and 100% vegan, of course. Um, 
and I, I love it. I don't see any reason to doubt the diet at all. Um, it has given me so much, and it has completely changed my life. So I, I'm a very strong advocate of raw foods. Um, I was never an athlete growing up. I was the skinny, brainy kid in, in, in high school and, and elementary school. And then it was about the high school time that I got on a bicycle and I would go ride with my friends and I'll always be the last one coming out of the woods because we go mountain biking. And then over the months, I would keep up with them. And one day, my, my super athletic friend that was in every sport he could imagine, I kept up with him and I was there with him. And I remember going down the road thinking, wow, I, I got better. And it was just, that changed me. And so that's how I got into sports and I got into cycling. And I, I went to school based on where they, I could find the cycling club. I uh, went to the University of Georgia, went through the uh, road for their cycling club for several years with the Nationals my first year there. And I moved up through the ranks pretty quickly. Um, I was an elite amateur for two or three years, traveled the country. I got a pro contract one year and I was traveling the country being a professional cyclist. It was a great experience, but at the same time I was, of all of that, I was I was very much concerned about how to better better myself um, as an athlete and and get the most I could out of my body. And um, so I was obviously concerned about about diet. And then in conjunction to that was uh, a very uh, strong ethic of, of compassion. And looking around all my athletic friends, it was very much you have to eat meat, you have to get this protein, so on and so forth. But as I started looking into it more, um, it was actually uh, John Robbins' book, The Food Revolution, that sort of opened my eyes to to being to hey, you can do this as an athlete. And that's how seven years ago um, I quickly trans um, became vegan. Soon thereafter, became raw. And that's where Organic Athletes started seven years ago. And uh, so I've been teaching people and educating people about it ever since. Um, uh, so my whole experience with um, being raw and being an athlete and whatnot has been uh, uh, very profound in my life. Um, I was a high school athlete. I played football. I played all the mainstream sports. I played lacrosse. Um, was able to do well at that, um, but getting out of school, I wanted something to be athletic. You know, there's a. I feel that there's a lot of um, pressure in society uh, we live in. You know, it's like be fit, be lean, be attractive. You know, and um, you know, those were all things that interested me. I got um, into weightlifting, of course, and uh, really just was topically uh, stimulated to do things. You know, like like I had said, weightlifting, and a lot of things put out there in the media, like oh, you need protein. There's this uh, protein phenomenon, you know, like, oh, you need all this protein, weightlifting, recovery, all that and whatnot. You know, and I, I definitely went down that road and I feel had almost like a cathartic experience, you know, went to such an extreme um, with putting these things into my diet and putting these things into my life that um, society had uh, kind of showed me, you know, and it, it just led me to a place where, um, you know, I didn't actually feel fit and I didn't actually uh, feel strong and all those things and um, you know through all this I began the sport of cycling and uh, it just I kind of came to a point where um, something felt wrong just like you know we all have something felt out of balance and uh, one day just sort of had an epiphany you know I was on my bike and I just thought well what am I doing I'm just some uh, I'm just some guy in spandex riding down the road trying to win a race what is that you know you know um, but I, you know, I thought you know it'd be cool if I could do this for something better, do this for some sort of a cause. You know, I feel like then I would have an intimate um, relationship with fitness and health and being. And um, through that, you know, I I had been a vegetarian for a long time, on and off and whatnot. But um, got turned on to the the vegan diet, and you know, like um, then I started to have this sort of like mental image of like, hey, I'm riding for a cause. I'm riding for something greater than me. You know, and that I thought was. Just, 
really motivating. People sometimes struggle to go to the gym, you know, like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym, you know, like, why am I going to the gym?